So in my day job, I'm the editor of Restaurant Magazine, which means I spend uh, a lot of time writing about restaurants, talking about restaurants, and even eating in restaurants uh, out front. But I don't ever see the internal workings of a kitchen. So I've come today to do a double shift as a kitchen porter at Les Deux Salons in Covent Garden, London, to see how the engine room of a kitchen works and how important the role of kitchen porters is and how the kitchen portering team can help ensure the smooth running of, uh, of any restaurant. So the reason we've, uh, we've done, I've done this today is to try and get a better sense of the role of kitchen porters in kitchens. They're, if you like the unsung heroes, the guys that do a lot of the graft and support the, the chefs, but they don't get much attention. Chefs these days can get a lot of attention. They can be you know, celebrities in their own rights, but they obviously can't function without a really strong team behind them. So we're trying to emphasize the role of the, of the kitchen porter, put a little bit of a spotlight onto it, and also look at how people treat their kitchen porters and, and how if you create a great team of kitchen porters that can really help the smooth running of any kitchen. We're out the kitchen boys, it's, uh, they, they do a lot of the grunt for us, a lot of the, the, the basic jobs, a lot of the small jobs that we, we don't really have a lot of time for, deliveries they put away, uh, general cleaning, mopping the fridges, uh, general small meat and plats, dicing onions, peeling onions, peeling carrots, just sort of small nitty gritty little jobs that we, uh, we find quite hard to do ourselves. Certainly without them, kitchens wouldn't, wouldn't survive. They are like the, the unsung heroes and the backbone of most kitchens. We've been experiencing a whole range of things that the kitchen porters do, and that includes obviously the, the classic role of, uh, of pot washing, um, but also some cleaning, and in the veg prep room, a whole bunch of vegetable preparation. And it's interesting to see that it's quite skilled. They're very skilled at, at their chopping and their peeling. They can do it very quickly. Thank you. So I've been slowing them down a bit today, uh, but uh, hopefully they'll still get it out in, in time for service. And it's really intense. You're doing it all day. From 8 o'clock in the morning, it's go, go, go. Uh, no, no breaks at all. So, just finished the uh, lunchtime shift uh, at Les Deux Salons, and um, I guess what I've learned is that the kitchen porters obviously work really, really hard. Um, something pretty obvious to anyone that's had any dealings with a professional kitchen. But it's also the level of responsibility and the skill involved in doing all the, the prep work and keeping everything uh, clean and running smoothly, and how important that is to the smooth running of, of a kitchen as a whole very much about communication both between themselves and their kind of team spirit and with the, the chefing team. It's pretty integrated. Uh, if you get a good team and a good, um, a good spirit, that can make a huge difference, I think, in the smooth running of a busy restaurant like this.